Right, now this is the rear braking system. And um, what we do with these is, um, the first thing we do is to remove this cotton reel thing at the back here that holds the back end of the brake shoe. And we, we drive it out. It'll come out, it's got a long shaft on it. And then we make a new cotton reel and we thread it 5 16 BSF and put a bolt in there. Now the reason for that is that you can then unscrew that and take the cotton reel out and you can make different size cotton reels deciding on how much you want to expand this braking system of the shoes in the drum. So that's the first thing you have to do. But the next thing you have to do is you have to uh, cut the ends of the brake shoes off so that they, at the bottom of the little dip in the brake shoe, it has to be machined off flush with the with the business end here where it operates this end so that it's so that the shoe can slide back and forth that makes some self-centering in the drum and then the next thing you have to do is you have to if because they're very often worn you have to put new pieces of metal on the back front of the shoes where they engage on the camshaft here and um and then you need new bushes in here and then you need new winklies and these are a wink there's a winkly and the winklies are screwed in there and then they have um and you turn them around so they seal off and the point is that you can put oil in there so it oils the bearing in the in the camshaft so that's what you do so you now have fully floating shoes and they're fully adjustable at both ends. And then what you do is you use army brake drums. Now these dr brake drums here are used on the army vehicles. They're called army brake drums, but they also fitted them on commercial vehicles as well. But they are designed to fit inside an early wheel. They're different from the they're different from the um, um, ruby brake drums, so um, so they um, there you go. So they, um, they they take an early wheel over the outside. So when you've done that, okay. So now you've got brakes that are really efficient. So when you turn this wheel, when you pull this, uh, and you can put longer levers on here as well if you wish. So when you when you put the brakes on, they go absolutely solid, and they do exactly the same amount each side because you've changed the cross shaft to suit. Okay, so that more or less does the rear brakes. Thank you very much.